Picture this, the year is 1978, a time when the world seemed to be painted with the hues of disco balls and the eclectic vibes of the late 70 seconds. Amidst this whirlwind of nostalgia, a cinematic gem quietly graced the silver screens, inviting both food enthusiasts and mystery aficionados into a delectable and perplexing narrative. Who is killing the great chefs of Europe? was more than just a movie, it was an experience that blended the aroma of hot cuisine with the spine-tingling suspense of a whodunit. As the projector whirred to life, and the opening credits rolled, a palpable excitement filled the air. It was a cinematic rendezvous with gastronomy and murder, a fusion as unexpected as it was captivating. The film's culinary stars and their culinary creations danced across the screen, each more mouth-watering than the last. But beneath the artistry of these culinary delights lurked a shadow of death, a series of murders that challenged both the detectives and the audience to unravel the deviously woven tapestry of motives and clues. Perhaps you recall that moment when the seemingly innocent meal preparations took on an air of suspense, when the simmering sauces mirrored the simmering tensions among the characters. Or maybe it was the surprising blend of comedy and suspense that kept you glued to your seat, leaving you uncertain whether to laugh or gasp in shock. And now, let's fast forward to the present moment. As we gather the cinematic crumbs of nostalgia, let's delve into some lesser-known ingredients that contributed to the making of this unforgettable movie. These intriguing tidbits not only add flavor to your reminiscence, but also provide a fresh perspective on the genius behind the scenes, the inspirations that shape the plot, and the unexpected anecdotes that color the narrative. So, my dear reader, viewer, as we prepare to dive into these captivating morsels of information, take a moment to sip your metaphorical cinematic wine and let the memories of who is killing the great chefs of Europe swirl in your mind. Who knows, you might uncover a hidden ingredient that has been dormant in your memory all these years. And now, without further ado, let's embark on this culinary and cinematic journey, exploring the savory layers of facts that have been simmering beneath the surface. Get ready to be amazed, intrigued, and transported back to the era when murder mysteries were seasoned with a dash of elegance and a sprinkle of dark humor. Full of dark humor. Full of dark Who is killing the great chefs of Europe? is a 1978 movie that blends comedy, mystery, and culinary elements in an engaging narrative. The film's premise centers around a series of bizarre and creative murders targeting renowned chefs in Europe. The story follows a food critic and a renowned chef as they unravel the mystery behind the killings. A movie directed by Ted Kotcheff cleverly weaves together a murder mystery with delectable gourmet scenes, creating a unique blend of suspense and humor. The film features iconic characters like the witty food critic Max Vanderveer, played by George Segel, and the celebrated chef Natasha O'Brien, portrayed by Jacqueline Bissett. Their dynamic interactions, along with the intriguing plot, make for an entertaining cinematic experience. The movie's distinctive style lies in its ability to seamlessly transition between thrilling murder investigations and indulgent depictions of culinary creations. The sumptuous dishes crafted by the chefs on screen add a sensory layer to the storytelling, making it stand out from traditional mystery films. Who is Killing the Great Chefs of Europe? Made a notable impact on popular culture by combining seemingly unrelated genres and appealing to a wide audience. It captured the essence of both food enthusiasts and mystery lovers, leading to its lasting influence. The film's innovative approach to storytelling paved the way for similar genre-blending movies in the future, inspiring filmmakers to experiment with different thematic elements. In summary, Who is Killing the Great Chefs of Europe? is a 1978 film directed by Ted Kotcheff that ingeniously combines mystery, comedy, and culinary arts. Its iconic characters, unique style, and successful fusion of genres have left a mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent films. The movie's legacy lies in its ability to captivate audiences with a flavorful concoction of suspense and gastronomy, making it a standout cinematic experience. Attic experience. Attic in a culinary whodunit that keeps the taste buds tingling. The 1978 film Who is Killing the Great Chefs of Europe serves up a delectable mix of mystery and gastronomy. Based on a novel that took a different approach, the film tantalizingly shifts the reveal of the murderer to the nail-biting climax. Interestingly, the cinematic representation of the Grand Kitchen within Buckingham Palace is not a result of British location scouting, 
Instead, the lavish setting was brought to life at the new Lido restaurant in Paris. This artful choice blends European elegance and cinematic convenience seamlessly. Devotees of the source novel will be intrigued to know that the film departs from the original narrative in its portrayal of the killer. While the novel disclosed the murderer's identity up front, the film teases the audience until the closing moments. Even more intriguingly, the identity of the perpetrator differs between the printed page and the silver screen, adding a twist that keeps fans guessing. Not just a feast for the suspense hungry, the film source material, and a surprising twist, also dishes out delectable recipes for each sumptuous dish. This literary culinary tour provides readers with the chance to recreate the movie's gourmet delights right in their own kitchens. Who is killing the great chefs of Europe? Serves up more than just suspense, it offers a cinematic taste of gourmet intrigue and a fresh take on a murder mystery classic. With its culinary capers and unexpected twists, this 1978 film reminds us that in the world of movies, much like in hot cuisine, a dash of surprise can be the most delicious ingredient. The 1978 film Who is Killing the Great Chefs of Europe has a tantalizing backstory that connects the culinary world with the silver screen. Originally distributed by Warner Brothers but produced by Lorimer, the movie's distribution journey took an interesting turn. During the 1980s, it found its way onto home video in non-Warner Bros. territories due to its Lorimer origins. However, when Lorimer was acquired by Warner Communications in 1989, the film made its way back to the Warner Bros. fold. Interestingly, the film almost had a different director at the helm. Acclaimed filmmaker Milo's foreman was once slated to take charge of this tantalizing tale. Although this opportunity ultimately went in a different direction, one can't help but wonder how foreman's distinctive touch might have flavored the film. The movie's roots can be traced back to the source novel Someone is Killing the Great Chefs of Europe, penned by Nan Lyons and Ivan Lyons. This cinematic adaptation hit theaters about two years after the novel's 1976 publication. The intrigue didn't stop there, as the novelists later crafted another culinary theme tome titled Someone is Killing the Great Chefs of America. In the grand tapestry of cinema, who is killing the great chefs of Europe, stands as a reminder of the intriguing paths films can take, from production houses to potential directors, and from literary inspiration to on-screen creation. As the culinary and cinematic worlds entwine, this film remains a delectable slice of cinematic history. Cinematic history. Cinematic hi Food critics' theoretical feast takes center stage in 1978 culinary whodunit film in the world of gastronomy and mystery. The 1978 film Who is Killing the Great Chefs of Europe carved a unique niche with its delectable blend of cuisine and suspense. At its heart lies the enigmatic figure of food critic Maximilian Van de Veer, portrayed by Robert Morley. Van de Veer's role extended beyond the screen, as he penned an article proposing the world's most fabulous meal. This tantalizing concept became a linchpin of the film, captivating audiences and inviting them to savor the intrigue. As producers envisaged a revival, the film also courted the possibility of being a comeback vehicle for the iconic Bridget Bardo. Eager to rekindle her cinematic prowess, Bardo's potential involvement added an aura of glamour to the project, leaving fans and critics alike eager to witness her return to the silver screen. While the allure of a remake stirred excitement in later years, the dish remained uncooked. In 2006, Warner Bros. tantalizingly announced plans to recreate the culinary mystery. However, as the sands of time flowed forward, the revival remained suspended, and as of 2018, the tantalizing aroma of a rebirth who is killing the great chefs of Europe was yet to waft through theaters. The film's legacy endures as a sumptuous blend of tantalizing theories and untapped potential. A feast for the senses, its flavorful narrative continues to intrigue and inspire, leaving cinephiles and gourmands alike with a savory taste of cinematic history. 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 A culinary caper, the intriguing tale of who is killing the great chefs of Europe. In the annals of cinematic history, the year 1978 introduced a delectable mystery comedy that left audiences both riveted and ravenous. Who is killing the great chefs of Europe? Not only served up a suspenseful plot, but also indulged in the art of gastronomy, with an astonishing $180,000 of the film's budget dedicated to its mouthwatering cuisine. The meticulously crafted dishes became stars in their own right, 
tantalizing viewers' taste buds and elevating culinary indulgence to an unforeseen level. One unforgettable scene, set in Venice's bustling fish market, featured a spectacle worth $3,000 in delectable edibles alone. The silver screen came alive as an array of seafood danced across the screen, embodying a lavishness that echoed the film's extravagant budget. This cinematic celebration of food was more than just a feast for the eyes. It was a testament to the filmmaker's commitment to authenticity. At the heart of the film's culinary caper was the unforgettable portrayal of a pompous gourmet by Robert Morley. This character not only tickled the audience's funny bone, but also triggered an unexpected chain of events. Morley's on-screen charisma led to a series of successful television commercials for Heinz Soup, further cementing his legacy beyond the silver screen. His efforts were met with critical acclaim, as evidenced by his Best Supporting Actor awards from both the National Society of Film Critics Awards and the Los Angeles Film Critics Association Awards in 1978. The accolades mirrored the character's larger-than-life presence and left an indelible mark on the film's reception. As the film's plot unfolds, it becomes clear that who is killing the great chefs of Europe masterfully blends suspense and satire while the sumptuous dishes featured on screen serve as both plot devices and culinary art. With an attention to detail that extended from its intriguing narrative to its delectable visuals, this 1978 gem continues to delight audiences, reminding us that even in the world of cinema, the recipe for success involves the perfect blend of mystery, humor, and, of course, exquisite cuisine. As the curtain falls on our journey through the delectable mystery of who is killing the great chefs of Europe, I invite you to take a moment to savor the lingering flavors of nostalgia and intrigue. This cinematic masterpiece, born in the vibrant tapestry of 1978, has woven its way into the hearts of many, each viewer carrying their own unique slice of connection. Perhaps it's the tantalizing aroma of sumptuous dishes prepared with meticulous care, or the symphony of personalities clashing and collaborating as they navigate a perplexing puzzle. Maybe it's the way the flickering light of the screen dances in your eyes, akin to the flickering flames under a simmering pot. Whatever resonates with you, this film has etched itself into the corridors of memory, a classic that transcends time. As we bid adieu to the culinary intrigue and the enigmatic whodunit, I urge you to indulge in a moment of reflection. What scenes stirred your senses? Which characters ignited a spark of recognition within? Has the art of gastronomy ever felt this tantalizingly dangerous to you before? Your thoughts are the secret ingredients that keep this cinematic feast alive. Share with us your musings, your cherished recollections, and your personal connection to this masterpiece. Join the symposium of minds who have reveled in its allure, and together, let's celebrate the enigma that is who is killing the great chefs of Europe. Your memories are the spices that enrich our collective tapestry. Thank you for embarking on this cinematic journey, for sharing your thoughts, and for keeping the spirit of this film alive in your own unique way. Until the reel of nostalgia spins once more, remember that the essence of storytelling is woven not just by filmmakers, but by viewers like you. With cinematic appreciation, 